What's going on guys, Tmart here, and today we're going to be talking about more Black Ops 2 multiplayer information. So, uh, as you guys know, this past week has been insane with all the gameplays that have been posted, and uh, the live stream from Gamescom, and a bunch of other stuff. You know, we've got a ton of information, and I just want to go through some of it with you guys. So, uh, I'm not going to go through the basic stuff, like the weapons list, or the perks list, or the killstreaks list, etc. I know a lot of you guys already know about those, I don't want to do the basic stuff. I want to talk about some of the stuff some of you guys might not know about, as well as follow up on some of my videos I posted last week because we got a little bit more information since then. I just want to update them a little bit and uh, kind of bring it full circle. But uh, anyway, so yeah, a couple of days ago I did a video about the uh, the multiplayer leagues that are going to be in Black Ops. It's kind of like this new competitive feature apart from the regular multiplayer. It's going to be in a new playlist and everything. And uh, pretty much everything I said in that video was spot on. So if you guys haven't seen that, click the annotation on screen, go back and watch it. But it's going to be pretty cool. And we actually found out that there is one more league that I didn't include in that video. And that's the one you see at the bottom of your screen right now it looks like a world with a little crown in the bottom that's the top 2% league so if you're in the top 2% of the world that's the league that you're going to be in that's going to be the emblem of it so uh, yeah that's how it's going to work I mean leagues are based solely off of wins and losses according to this David Vonerhart tweet whereas regular multiplayer you know the stuff we're used to is based solely off of XP so uh, it's pretty exciting I'm really excited to see how this league thing works out you know if it's going to be popular on YouTube or not and I don't know I just I think it's going to be good to have some true competition in Black Ops 2 apart from um, playing game battles and private matches and things like that so I uh, will have to wait and see but I'm pretty excited about it now I'm uh, moving on the next thing that I want to talk about are the wild cards in black ops 2 which are a completely new feature they're a part of the creative class system and it's something that we've never seen before I just want to make sure that you guys are clear on these because it can be a little bit confusing but it's a pretty cool thing that they've got going on so uh, anyway as you guys know the creative class system in black ops 2 is a 10 point system you get to spend 10 points wherever you want and a point is spent when you do one thing like you have one primary weapon that's a point if you add an attachment to that weapon that's another point you have to spend if you want one perk one that's another point you have to spend if you want tactical grenades that's another point you have to spend and you have up to 10 points to spend on your class so uh, that's how that works now uh, for wild cards they allow you to do extra things for your class like get an extra perk one so you have two perk ones or get an extra lethal grenade you know things like that we'll go through the list in a second but how they work is you have to spend one point on your wild card and then one point on whatever that wild card does so each wild card thing technically takes away two points from your class so let's say that you never use your secondary you could take away your secondary and the attachment on that secondary and spend those two points on getting an extra perk one because again you have to spend one point on the wild card and one point on the extra perk so you know it's a good thing because if you really want an extra perk one or an extra perk two or three or you know whatever it is then you can get that but it's also it's kind of a bad thing because you have to waste two points on that whereas those could be used elsewhere so this is really going to change up the create a class system and really make some super custom classes for us now uh, for the wild cards what do they do well there's eight of them. There's one is a primary gunfighter, which gives you a third attachment on your primary weapon. Secondary gunfighter gives you a second attachment on your secondary weapon. Overkill gives you two primaries. We know that. There's perk one, two, and three greed, which gives you an extra perk one, two, or three, depending on what you want. Danger close allows you to have two lethal grenades, but they have to be the same lethal. That's kind of the little stipulation there that now nobody knows about. And then there's finally tactician, where it gives you two sets of tactical grenades or tactical equipment, you know, Maybe it's a trophy system or something, but uh, the trick here is, is you can't have the same equipment here. You have to have different equipment, so that's the stipulation on that. So, uh, yeah, those are just two different things that I haven't really heard much about. I wanted to share with you guys, if you use the Danger Close one, you have to have the same lethal grenade. If you use Tactician, you have to have different tactical equipment. So, uh, anyway, moving on, another thing that I've got a lot of questions about is why isn't there, like, a sleight of hand or a steady aim or a quick draw perk or anything in Black Ops 2? You know, where did these things go? How is this game going to work? If they don't have these and as you can see from this tweet right here David Vonderhaar got the same thing and he replied that guns must be modified by attachments now and that's the case so if we take a look at all the attachments some of them that stick out there's quick draw which that's gonna allow you to pull your gun out faster and probably raise it up to aim down sight faster there's also the laser sight which is what increases your uh, your hip fire spread or whatever and then finally there's the fast mag which allows you to reload faster so this is one of the things that I'm most excited about in Black Ops 2 because now that these weapon modifiers are based on each 
each individual gun, rather than being blanketed across all the weapons in the game via a perk, Treyer can fine tune every single gun individually. You know, maybe one gun has a super slow draw time and they need to make quick draw work a little bit better for it than the other weapons, you know, things like that. So it's just going to make all the guns so much more balanced. It's going to be a lot better game and it's just, it's going to add to the creative class experimentation. You know, there's going to be a bunch of different stuff that, uh, that we have to try out and, you know, kind of try to figure out what the best classes are. And there's going to be a lot of different options out there for us, which makes it a deeper game, which makes it a more fun game, which gives it more playability and we won't get bored as quickly. So uh, I don't know. I'm excited for this game. I've got a lot of Black Ops 2 information to come as well as some Modern Warfare 3 tip videos. I know I haven't done those in a while. And also I've got an interactive coming out soon. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out one of the other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.